Von Miller, just a, a real lightning rod for discussion with Von Miller. Um, obviously a very disappointing campaign in 2023. Um, and I think a lot of that is kind of self-inflicted by Von Miller. Um, and it's like all this hype he created for him, like on himself, um, just in the off season talking about he'll be ready for week one, you know, getting everybody's expectations up and, you know, being an older player coming back from an ACL, like no, no shame in taking your time getting back. Uh, I know we all got a little bit antsy with, you know, Trey White's injury of when's he, when's he going to be back? Um, but he really took his time and made sure he was coming back. Right. And there was, you know, a little bit, a couple game ramp up period for Trey White before he was starting to look like, you know, the Trey White, we all know. Um, I think Von Miller rushed back. Uh, I think the team kind of, with the assets they had invested in him, didn't really try to slow him down. They wanted him on the field. Um, however, that all shook out. You know, even when he comes back week six, when you're talking about being ready week one, maybe week two, and then you do come back week six, you know, we we were all expecting you ready for week one based on what you said. I was never expecting him week one. <laughs> um, but based on what he was saying, if you're ready to go week one in your mind, you got another five weeks on it. Like, okay, week six, week seven, we should start seeing Von Miller coming out. Um, and then it goes all throughout the season of him just, uh, being a non-factor, um, add in there some off the field issues and just a really disappointing season for Vaughn. Um, we do see kind of finally at the end of the season, the last like couple games, he didn't really put anything in the stat sheet still, um, but he was getting close on some plays. Um, so that's that's kind of my my saving grace of hope for Von Miller. Um, but I, I do think we kind of have to adjust our expectations. Um, it looks like a terrible contract now, and it kind of is what it is at this point. It's it's the cost of doing business when you're trying to, you know, push all the chips in and you know, Brandon Bean felt like that game wrecking pass rusher was what was missing. Um, and in his first season with Buffalo, he was everything we wanted him to be. Um, he was coming up with big plays and clutch moments. He was affecting the passer. Uh, he was doing all of that. In 2024, I would just generally like to see more out of him and I don't need him to be Von Miller of eight years ago. You know, he can still be on a little bit of a pitch count, you know, a little bit lighter in the rotation. Um, but when those clutch moments are coming up and we need a play, I need Von Miller to, to be a catalyst for that play. I don't need him getting the sack. I don't need him forcing the fumble. Um, but drawing a double team that frees up one of the defensive tackles, um, something like that. Here's the thing with Von Miller. All we can really do is hope that we get some semblance of who Von Miller was, um, because with his contract, he's not going anywhere. Um, unless something happens with his, you know, off the field issues that ends him up on a suspension list and we can get out of that contract kind of like on a contract wording technicality. Um, other than that, he's, he's much like the, the Stefan Diggs contract that I've already talked about where it, it's going to cost us more for him to not be on the team, um, than to be on the team. So hopefully you get something there. Hopefully it's, you know, a little bit closer to, what we were getting in somewhere at least in the middle of what we got in 2022 and what we got in 2023.
Um, and then finally, <clears throat> with the defensive ends, <clears throat> excuse me, we have uh, Cameron Klein on a reserve future contract. Um, he's kind of a guy that was brought into the practice squad last year that uh, I was excited for kind of his ceiling if he got anywhere near that, but that was still going to be can he supplant one of these older guys as as a rotational player? Um, so as it stands now, kind of, it's Groot and Vaughn, and the rest of the rest of that position is kind of up for grabs out there. And knowing how much this team likes to rotate, particularly on the defensive line, um. It it's really Von Groot and not much after that. Um so this this is one that I think a lot of Bill's Mafia is going to be a little bit upset about if we see an early investment in the draft. I'm talking I'm talking round one, round two. Um I know there's been so much investment in the defensive line over the tenure of brand bean and kind of mixed results. And last year was in my opinion, by far the strongest effort. Um, but when you look at what we have here, I know wide receivers, the sexy topic right now, I know, um, you know, we all want to get the extra weapons for Josh Allen. And, and I love that idea. <clears throat> But also when you look at like what the biggest needs are um, vers versus wants, um, I do think wide receiver is a very big need for this team. I also think that this is being touted as maybe the deepest wide receiver draft ever um, from, from how much I'm hearing it get blown up. Um, so not only can you add talent through the draft, but also some of these veterans that are out there floating around in free agency you know when there's that top cream of the crop free agents that we can't afford when there's this many players coming out through the draft there's going to be more guys than usual that are kind of waiting for cheaper deals and we've seen brandon bean do a ton of like one-year deals um wide receiver i think you can draft a guy a little bit later uh, I feel, I still think it should be kind of a pressing need because um, not only are you looking for a wide receiver too this year, you're looking for the long-term replacement for Stefan Diggs. Um, but I have a hard time sitting here today putting wide receiver as a bigger need than defensive line. And this is before we even get into the defensive tackles. Um so just start mentally preparing yourself for, you know, when we get to the draft, seeing some pretty significant investments in um, the D line as a whole.